know, you know, I came back because, you know, I wanted to do a prayer. Because, you know, a lot of people, they suffer from the orphan spirit, especially if you are not, you know, you don't, you have been raised in a family where, you know, you either were moving here and there or you were, you know, that wasn't wanted or nothing. You were, you suffer from the spirit of orphan spirit. And, you know, God is in the healing business. And he said until a lot of his children get healed and delivered from the orphan spirit, it's a spirit that feels like that, you know, even if a person try to love you and accept you and love you, you don't know how to return love, you know, because you're not, you never accepted love. You never was given love, you know, so I'm going to um, speak about it. And then I'm going to put a prayer about the orphan spirit and it's going to be biblical. I'm like, oh, I usually you know when God gives me something, it's usually scriptures with mine. That's why I say you got to have rumor and revelations. It's raining out here real bad, but that's why I'm going to some, you know, while I'm sitting here waiting to the rain let up to go in the store. It says, now I did this in 2015. It says, spiritual orphans, when fathers and children's hearts are turned from each other, can cause a curse. And you know what? A lot of people are li living under this curse because of the orphan spirit, you know? And it causes divorce, it causes no marriage breaking spirits to enter and unwed mothers, teenage pregnancy, and absent fathers, and unhealthy, unequally yoked relationships will happen when absent a father figure or abandoned children never looked for or cared about in their life. And this is a wicked spirit, the orphan spirit. They had a movie called The Orphan, too. I saw it years ago. It was an evil spirit. It was an evil movie with this evil little girl. And it says, um, they usually are rooted generational curses in the spirit of rejection. That's why... I God said he told me to move on the spirit of generation, breaking generational curses and ancestral curses because these are bloodline curses that can continue to pass down and generation to generation until somebody break them off to that person's bloodline. And usually they want the, God wants that person to be raised up to be able to be healed and delivered to be that curse breaker to break that off of their you know, bloodline. But then he can get you, you know, get you connected with somebody that's in healing and deliverance and they can you know, aid you and then pray for you and intercede for you. It says, they are usually rooted in generational curses. These are character resistance, unable to find a stable church. Uh-uh, and a stable home. Always on the move for something better, even relationships. They feel good and right, desires to satisfy its flesh. Never want to be united to it, with one and with a person. They need to be seen or recognized, usually by possessions, money, degrees, and statues of prestige. They are easily offended and think people do not like them and they are rejecting them. Insecurity and no confidence they will have. They will reject you before you can reject them. Romans 8, 8 15. They need the spirit of adoption in the kingdom of God, not a slavery mentality and not the Egyptian captivity mentality. I plead the blood of Jesus upon any person here in this prayer. I bind every spirit of the orphan spirit, that spirit of abandonment on your life. I command it to release you now in the name of Jesus. Father God, Holy Spirit, fill them up with the uh, fruit of the spirit, the character. Father God, that it will hover over them and bring deliverance and healing to your children. Romans 8, 15. Abba, Father God, I pray today healing to come upon every area of your children's heart father god that they had the stony heart the hardened heart father god you can heal their heart and make them a clean new heart like yours ezekiel eleven nineteen. lord be a committed and loving father to them help them to have a heart and mind of christ when most of them suffer from this spirit they have been deeply hurt and wounded emotionally deep wounds and wounded spirit and verbally they were re they were wounded verbally or physical which the spirit of the wounded spirit came in and which is a broken spirit the enemy has strongholds in their lives healing and deliverance is still available that's the only solution this person has for freedom and that's freedom in the spirit of the holy ghost then take responsibility for their past they have to acknowledge it and their attitudes and aim for a healthy future and a healthy life and healthy relationships where they can bond, where you can be able to commit to a relationship, commit to a friendship, commit to anything that God places on your life. 
and they will be able to love openly with the agape love of Christ. It's going to be hard to love a person with that orphan spirit, you know, unless they get delivered because you can love them all you want. They're not used to accepting love. They'll be telling you they love you, but they don't because they never experience. It would take the love of Christ to soften that heart and heart. That they, I spoke about that stony heart to be able to get them a new clean heart that they'll be able to be able to be in a healthy relationship healthy friendships and you know and then God be able to bless them and they be able to move forward and then blessings will come and they won't be living under a curse where nothing happens for them and they, even when they get money it just goes right out their hand you know and that's that python spirit it's, it's choking off their finances you know and that's why nothing's never prospering in their lives and it said, the biblical example of an orphan spirit is the Galatian church. They operated in the orphan spirit, those who tried to earn their way by doing dead works. They thought by who they were and what they did, they resist the Holy Spirit. Jonah is another. He, he was a prophet, but not had a personal relationship or intimacy with God or his heart. That's why he didn't believe God when God told him to go speak to the people of Nineveh. He was stubborn. He was cold-hearted and stony, just like that orphan spirit. And it says he was like the prodigal son. And that's what God told me. You know, he got me back to what he been getting me on teaching about the prodigal child, the prodigal sons and daughters. That's what they're dealing with right now, you know, and it's going to be... It's going to be a lot of prayer needed for them. It's going to be a lot of standing in the gap, and it's going to take strong faith because it's going to take God to break those yokes, and it's going to take the Holy Spirit healing and deliverance to get them made whole again. And it says, Luke 15, you will not be effective in the kingdom of God. They will be just doing things, but it will not prosper, and not knowing God's heart or a man after God's heart like King David. And that's why you have to watch. But, you know, God said everybody can be delivered, you know, and they can be set free. And it says, Matthew 18, 18. Verily I say to you, what you shall bind on earth, it will be bound in heaven. And what you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Lord, I now rebuke and break the spirit of the orphan spirit up off your children, Father God. Break that spirit of abandonment, unwanted, it, deep wound hurt, Father God. Break that spirit of emotional abuse verbal abuse father god break that spirit of abandonment of mother abandonment of father father god you said that they are accepted in but love if, if they take you as your they personal savior father god you said that you can heal and deliver them you can set their souls free father god i ask for you to heal in palm of gilead to touch your children where they at those who hear my voice and hear this prayer at the voice of me speaking deliverance is the children's bread father god continue to break every spell up off of them every generational curse every ancestral curse father god i declare they will be blessed father god i declare that they will be the children of god they will be accepted in the beloved they will have sonship Father God, they will never, ever feel rejected. The devil is in that. The devil, you a liar. God's children is going to be set free. God's children is going to have healing and deliverance. Father God, I bind off and break the neck of every python spirit that's trying to constrict them, that's trying to hold them back, that's trying to get, wrap around their head, wrap around their neck and their body. Father God, I command them to loose in the name of Jesus. You loose, you python spirit. You got to go in the name of Jesus. I send the Holy Spirit consuming fire to burn burn that that python constricted spirit up father god i ask for you to release the holy spirit present we release them and fill them up with the holy ghost father god without measure father god father god i break every vex spell candle magic love magic love spell chance uh broken marriages broken relationships father god it's the time and the hour that your children they shall do great exports they will be able to be able to heal and deliver and set the captives free father god and i thank you and i give you honor and i give you praises because you are the deliverer and you god you're raising up to the same people that be able to walk in the same acts book of deliverance and they'll be able to set these captives free father god and I thank you and I give you honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. And bless us, Shalom. And I hope God heals you and delivers you and sets your soul free. It's time to be have freedom. It's time to have a peace and a happiness and joy that comes up over your life every day. You won't just feel defeated. God said he defeated the devil already. Now you got to defeat the devil. Can you defeat the devil? That's where it is. You got to possess your soul back. 
that he said in your patience. So it's time to be patient and possess your soul back from that devil. Bye-bye, Angelique Chronicles.